everybody and welcome my name is Eric and today I'm going to be reviewing the weather radio from Sun Life now even though the title says it's a weather radio for emergencies it actually has quite a lot of features from a 2000 milliamp uh, ion battery it's got a slot for AAA batteries as a backup it has got a crank in order to recharge it can charge solarly you can actually get weather bands here in the US only FM and AM radio and it's got a flash around the front it's got a reading ambient light on the side I mean this thing although it is small it is packed with features so I'm gonna bring you guys in closer and show you what uh, those features are all about so here is the radio up close you get the flash out on the front which by the way can be adjusted I'm gonna be showing you guys how that works at nighttime that's coming up later after this uh, later in the video show you then you have on the top you got a solar panel which by the way charges directly on sunlight and also on the shade you guys see that little red light right there I means it's charging if I put it on the shade it continues to charge although preferably you want to have it under the Sun because more direct light better charging power it's always actually preferable all right so now I'm gonna show you guys it's got the weather band radio FM AM as well now due to copyright infringement laws I will not be able to play you guys a song but I can at the very least show you guys the weather band and that you adjust over here first we turn it on and here we tune it now you guys gonna see a little green light very close by you can barely see it but there's a green light right there there it is. There's a green light. It actually shows you that you actually connect it. Let me put it all the way bottling all the way up. Not bad, huh? <laughs> now on the back, you guys gonna find the crank, which by the way can charge clockwise or counterclockwise. And I'm gonna show you guys a neat little trick, because over here, you're gonna have the little USB adapters, which you can use a micro USB and regular USB to actually power up small devices it does come with its own micro USB cord as well it does not come with AAA batteries but there is a backup here where you can actually put AAA batteries I put a set in there and the battery fell off <laughs> but that was my fault I'm clumsy today there we go I'm gonna give you guys a small demonstration as well now if you look down at the bottom, you guys are gonna see the power choices. You guys are gonna see you can switch it to ion battery. Let's say your ion battery runs out, you switch it back to AAA. You can still run your flashlight. You can still run your radio. You can still run it. And over here, you guys are gonna see some choices. If you wanna charge, you see that little small symbol? That is if you want to charge a small cell phone. In the middle is turned off. And the top is SOS, which is pretty loud. I'll be showing you guys what that looks like at nighttime because it's preferable. The flashlight. Oh, and the ambient light. I forgot to show you guys the little flat the the reading light. Check it out. Is it the solar panel doubles as the reading light as well sorry I made I'm making a mess with the camera I want to show you guys something which I found very interesting because although it has the capability to actually charge a small device I got myself a uh, Google pixel right here Google pixel 2 not that it matters then I connect the USB cord in there I'm going to switch it to ion battery Right here, switch to ion, and I'm gonna go ahead and charge the device. Oh, forgot one thing. Make sure you put it on the little sim uh, cell phone symbol, and then it begins to charge. Now we're charging. Now there is one thing I've noticed. Let's say that you ran out of battery, both your AAA and your uh, ion battery, and you need to charge it. Preferably, you want to be on direct sun like this. You cannot do any full turns like so, but 
because you can actually charge counterclockwise and clockwise for an emergency scenario. This will be very handy. Pick direct sunlight and begin to do this. For an emergency scenario, if you need to juice up your cell phone or a small device, this is priceless. I just thought that was pretty cool when I was playing with it. Because the folks at Sun, uh, Sun Life, they actually sent this to me last week and I've been playing with it, you know, trying it out to make sure I give you guys proper information. So yeah, I noticed that and I thought it was so cool. Now this also has a strap with a carabiner, which goes like this, which comes in really handy when you're actually walking outside. You can actually put it on your side of your belt or your pants, leaving it exposed to actually the, uh, the sun. You can walk with it, not too bad, like so. It also works great when you have a backpack. Obviously you don't want to have this on your back, so you just move it to the side. Put your backpack on, exposed to the uh, to the uh, to the sun. Pretty handy. I believe I've shown you guys the majority of the features of this uh, weather radio slash solar rechargeable crank emergency SOS device, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys some footage at nighttime. And also, I'm gonna show you guys how fast it'll charge a cell phone. I took the time, about 15 minutes, to give it a quick charge for you guys. What would you should what you should expect? Because it does it does have actually fast charging, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, let's get to that. Okay, everybody. So here's the plan. I currently have the little radio set up on ion. I'm gonna be using the ion battery. And here I have a Pixel 2. It's currently only at two percent. I'm going to give it a quick charge for about 15 minutes to give you an idea how long it'll take to charge for an, an emergency scenario. So let's put that to the test. Okay, the charging just started. It immediately bumped to, to 4%, surprisingly. I didn't, I was surprised to see that. But anyway, got it on ion right now and I got it on charging. Make sure you put this knob down, otherwise it will not charge. <laughs> so let's see how much it'll charge in a 15 minute interval. Let's take a look. All right, and the timer has gone off. And for a 15 minute charge, we got from 2% all the way to 23. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So when charging, you will see the little battery light to turn red. Once it's fully charged, you will see how it turn green. I wanna show you guys that in full detail. Once it's fully charged. And the connections on the back, right here, it's micro USB. Connected to the USB port on my laptop, it took about an hour to be fully charged. And this is how it looks like. All fully charged. So yeah, pretty cool. Now I want to show you guys the reading light. Here it is. Huh? Not too bad. It's very bright. It's quite bright. You can do your reading if necessary. Plenty of light without disturbing anybody around you either. It's pretty good. Okay, everybody. Sun is down. Now I'm going to show you guys how the flashlight performs. And here we are. Now, as I showed you guys before, you can actually adjust the focus of the light. Like so. You can adjust it. I like to have it right about here. There we go, that's perfect. Let's look around. It's very bright actually. Lights up the entire way. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. So I took out my tent to show you guys, you know, what it would look like, you know, setting it up in the tent. Now, I'm not going to be using the flash yet. I'm going to be using the reading ambient light because it works like a uh, like a lantern. Let me actually open it up. And here we are. This is the lantern, the uh, the ambient light or reading light. I think it works pretty good. Lighting up your area like a large, large patch right in front of you. Flashlight will be more directional, but this will actually light up your entire path in front of you. This is pretty good. 
it can actually double as a lamp for your tent. I'm going to hang it on the top right there. See how it lights up the tent. Right now I hung it to the carabiner at the top and it lights up, lights up a good part of the tent. You can move it about. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what the SOS looks like at nighttime. Uh, let me turn off the flashlight real quick. And here we go. I got a little loud. Alright you right, guys, I am back on my lair. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be putting some links in the description below for the Sun Life Emergency Radio and their Amazon store in case you happen to find anything else interesting on their store as well. I got to be honest, I have to give it a thumbs up for a small little radio. It's very capable, packed with features, especially for emergencies. And not nowadays with the virus going around with the coronavirus thing, uh, you never know what may happen. So having this is actually quite handy. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe out there. Bye.